Okay. AJ, that was the cutest little face. That was the cutest little face. Yeah. It's 4 a.m. in the morning and uh, I have a long day. Work first, early, and then I have a flight. air travel and road trip is that uh, yes you still have a fixed time rate uh, actually I take that back with the road trip you do have uh, a fixed time rate especially if you're taking Greyhound somewhere you need to uh, be there at a certain time but uh, whenever I carpool with my colleagues or any of those other trips uh, they're a little more laid back but uh, here if you're going to the airport, you do not want to fool around. Evidently, Chicago and a big majority of the Midwest have experienced a heat wave in the 90s. And I'm thinking, hello, I live in Atlanta. Atlanta gets 90 degrees around this time of the year every year, and it's 90s for several days. Uh, 90 degrees is nothing compared to uh, heat waves in the triple digits and we get those very rarely here so I don't know why everybody's flipping out I always thought it would be in the 90s in the Midwest I mean it's been 93 degrees and 90 plus degrees in Minnesota before even when I was growing up there uh, but evidently this is a big deal for Chicago slash Chi-Town because uh, it's normally in the uh, 70s to low 80s. So. And uh, as I was uh, getting off the escalator today, I ran into another passenger. I think he's flying Delta because he went to Terminal South. Actually, this is Terminal, yeah, this is Terminal North. But I'm on my way to check in. Anyway, sorry for stumbling over my words. Uh, I ran into a passenger today. He's traveling to my hometown where I grew up and I'm traveling to Chi-Town. But I don't, actually I already did talk about the heat wave, but that makes me really happy. Uh, two passengers on two different airlines traveling to two cities in the Midwest where I grew up. But uh, 
little story. I actually uh, had wanted to go to Chicago when I was 14 years old. I mean, I, I rode through it uh, coming down here to Atlanta in 96, right before the big Olympics. And I fell in love with Chicago, even though we didn't stop there. We just drove through and I was intrigued by the humongous skyline and the um, their public transit system because we didn't have that in Minneapolis at the time. And then we came down to Atlanta and it felt right. So um, I'm finally getting my dream to see Chicago, which is now uh, Chi-Town. So uh, yeah, but anyway, um, I need to run to the kiosk and check in, but I'm hoping I don't have to check my bag because they charge you big money now anymore to check your bags, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I just got my uh, ticket for United. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I did have to pay a fee to check my bag because uh, I'm not flying first class. I can't afford that kind of luxury unless I get dun dun dun, you know, an upgrade. On the plus side, at least I don't have to uh, lug that roller board around the airport. Um, on the negative side, uh, that's one thing I like about Delta. If you have a carry-on and a personal item, they're both complimentary. Uh, but if the, the flight is overbooked, they don't charge you anything if they make you check your bags, which was nice. I did that twice uh, going to and from Washington, D.C. the last time I flew. Anyway, I need to get in line because I have... Uh, you get the idea. Take care of that. I just finished going through airport security. And unfortunately, I didn't call TSA Cares in time, which is supposed to, get, supposed to escort you to the shortest line. I talked to the accommodation people, and that lady was just a little smart aleck. You want to get in that line? And I noticed that uh, there's a long line of individuals with uh, disabilities and other special needs that are uh, in that line. And my thoughts are, nobody should have to go through security with a disability and take longer. That's absolutely ridiculous. They should be there first. But um, without further delay, I am um, finally in the airport today and uh, I'm finally flying and doing something other than coming for meetings or coming for, um, what do they call it? Um, the Autism Airport Rehearsal Tours taking flight. Uh, I did contact one of uh, the Delta staff who helps out with the program, but unfortunately she had the day off. So it looks like I'm doing a lunch on my own today. Um, and uh, I just remembered something too. Uh, I remembered that I brought along my other camera uh, that I have to plug in. Pretty sure that bag that I checked is going to get checked in I searched itself, so crossing my finger is that they didn't lose my luggage. But uh, either way, I'm fine. However, um, the point I wanted to get to is that I finally got through airport security today, and uh, the lines weren't too bad for uh, regular passengers traveling. Ooh. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, the line wasn't too bad, but, sorry, I'm really distracted. Um, if you see me stopping like this, that just means I'm making an awe on all the sights and sounds. I'm just uh, trying to uh, make out where my gate is. I think I'm about to find out where that is. Never mind, there it is. However, um, oh, I know what I'm gonna say. As much as I love traveling and flying, airport security tends to get worse. Every time you turn around, they need a new thing. They need you to take out your, your electronics now. They need you to take out your liquids. They need you to take out your foods. It's absolutely uh, 
ludicrous. So, anyway, um, I'm finally almost at my gate. I'm gonna pick up some lunch. I have no idea where I'm gonna eat, but I think it looks like I'm gonna stay in this uh, concourse because A, it's long, and B, um, turns out that my flight is leaving at, um, uh, at 1.40 instead of 2 p.m. So I'll be there a little earlier. So it looks like uh, the aircraft that's um, picking me up and the rest of the crew, or the rest of the, these passengers flying to whatever their destination is, uh, will be leaving uh, seven minutes after uh, the uh, set time, which was at 1.33 p.m. So. I almost forget the entire reason why I'm coming here to Chicago or the Windy City. And the main course is going to see Temple Grand and speak and vlog about it. But to me, it feels like this little mini vacay before I go and see my favorite woman in a bogo tie uh, talking about things that are practical and random at the same time. Like, for instance, uh, one of the funniest things I think she said is uh, and she's talking about autistics working in careers like uh, the airline industry working on uh, airplane engines, which is supposed to be really ideal for them. And she said, uh, you better have respect for what they do because I'm getting on an airplane tomorrow. And so those of you watching my uh, YouTube channel, same with you. Temple Randon. You better have respect for what they do, because we're both getting on an airplane. I'm getting on an airplane in a little bit, in a little bit, and you're getting on an airplane uh, to go to Chicago too. So both of us better have respect for the hard work that they do. And that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. One, um, the flight was delayed after all. Two, this plane is tiny. And three, they ended up calling me last minute and uh, deciding to move me because uh, there's a mom and a baby that needed to sit together. So I'm gonna be sitting even further back in the plane, which, uh, <laughs> which is okay. But uh, just come on, make up your mind, United. Um, are we gonna board this plane or not? I mean, I kept getting these alerts. First the, plate, the flight is delayed, then they said it'd come earlier, and then they said it'd be on time. And now, at the flight's delayed even more because, A, they had to get the last uh, batch of passengers off, and now they're putting the luggage on. So, yeah. another 45 minutes because uh, the weather was really really bad or inclement in Chicago thanks to the massive heat wave that just went through the Midwest and tomorrow's going to be a little cooler for uh, Chicago rather the temps are going to be average but we're just boarding now and I'm uh, waiting for my seat so here I go you two <laughs> Two, 
when I was boarding the plane, uh, it's short enough that you practically could board outside. So, uh, what I wish this plane would have, I wish it had in-flight entertainment, little screens I could sit and watch a movie, or two, but I'm going to have to rely on um, some books to read. just arrived in Chicago. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, as you guys last saw, I was on a plane and um, we're headed to um, Chicago, right? And we're pulling out in the middle of the tarmac and we're getting ready, but we're sitting there for, I don't know, I mean, I did lost count. I get ready, I start falling asleep, and all of a sudden I hear the plane move, and I think maybe, oh, oh, maybe we're going, maybe we're in line. Well, I heard um, an alert, and I had a feeling that maybe they closed the window again. So, um, the airline pilot at the top spoke to someone at the air traffic controller. They had a small window to leave, and as we're pulling out, uh, into uh, the plane. As we're pulling out, getting ready to take off, he says that we have to go back. So we wait a few more minutes, and then we go back. So, um, so I wait a little longer. Next thing you know, I find out they're going. There's a two another two hour delay. Well, 30, 15 to thirty minutes later, I go back, and they mention that the flight is canceled. So, luckily, I gave one of uh, the customer service agents uh, my contact information and I let him know that I'm autistic. And I also let the airline pilot know that I'm autistic because uh, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to let the airline know what your situation is. And being that I do the airport tours. So, I'm now uh, waiting for my bag and I am on my way to go uh, spend the night at a hotel here in Atlanta because I'm on vacation. I'm not gonna let one little flight cancellation ruin everything, and there's always a reason for it. So, anyway, um, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Um, also, be sure to check me out on uh, my WordPress. I'm going to be writing uh, one more video about uh, my development during my preteen years versus other peers' years. I haven't had a chance, I haven't been in the mood to write that, and. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to be taking notes and uh, writing about what Temple talks about. And then probably write about uh, this experience as a whole and some of the things that you can do as a family member, you can do as a self-advocate, as an autistic. Uh, but whatever you do, do not be afraid to let them know that you are on the spectrum. But um, without further delay, I'm going to sign off now. Bye.